Hi there and welcome to a new Plugin Guru Quickie video. My name is John Skippy Limkul and this is Quickie video number 12. And this is a really cool one because I'm really excited to introduce to you the version 1.2 of the Absinthe 5 Power Pack Library. <laughs> it came out really cool. Really, really happy with it. Um, there's 20 new patches. There's 14 new effect patches which introduce new sonic territory that I think you guys are going to really get into. I hope some of you really come up with some cool stuff with this as a starting point because um, it's very different than anything found in the effect library that Native Instruments provides. Um, using it as a synth with melody capabilities and leads from the effects. So wait till you see what we can do. It's really cool. I'm really excited. So before we get to showing the patches, just a quick reminder to go to the Plugin Guru website and if you hit add to cart now, it now says version 1.2. And if you're one of the customers that have bought the power pack already, um, I've sent out an email with a new download link so you can download the new version. It's about 10 megabytes larger than it was before because of the new samples. So make sure you replace both the samples and the uh, patch and the effects folders. They're all new content in all three areas. So make sure you do that. Um, instructions on the README are included. So there you go. Make sure you also come over here and visit the Facebook Plugin Guru page. There's information here on Tone Hammer, there's new music, made a little announcement about the 1.2 being out. Uh, you can communicate with me directly here, so make sure you go to facebook.com slash plugin guru and uh, see what's going on, all right? All right, I'm going to give you a tour of the 1.2 update and show you how come I consider Absinthe 5 to be an audio effect monster. It's incredible. You will not believe what you can do. But we'll, we'll first, let me show you some patches. So this update, it has, uh, now it has 148 synth patches for playing as, a, as an instrument. It has now 34 patches instead of 20 from the 1.1 update it's got 14 more for the effect patches and then it has 27 samples and for those of you that don't know some of you might not know this you know how i love to go everywhere and be a little check this out real quick did you know that if you go from single down to sample and you hit right here for the library these are all folders that come with absent five of samples <laughs> Cymbals, atmospheres, drums, percussion, vocal, synth, bass, guitar, keys, acoustic instruments. So you could, if you want, let's load a steel drum. And, uh, so if you if you haven't played around here, there is a ton and ton and ton of cool stuff to use, including all sorts of different noises. By the way, in the power pack, I included because we I showed you in the in the last power pack a little bit about noise. There's also one, two, three, four, four different noises to use for your synthesis adventures. So you have those as well as the way of making using two, uh, a noise oscillator and then the noise as a ring mod. So let me show you a couple of the patches real quick. Um, let me start by showing you the lead that we created in our last, here's the final version of the lead. It's very nice. There's also a couple other versions using that specific sample. Here's that sample by itself. I love this sample. I'm, I'm really happy with this. Uh, where is it? It's not in order, as you can tell, because I separated it by uh, color. Orange is the new stuff in 1.2, and green is the existing old stuff. It only came out, it's not that old. But anyway, you know what I mean? So this is just the uh, sample of Spiritual Awakening, which is using a, an actual sample that I created called Dream Stasis. So I'm going to play one note. 
it grows. I'm gonna add another note or two. Itself, just doing that. Of course, we use it in other ways. And this way as well. There's other stuff uh, included. Uh There's a new dubstep bass that um, uses the mod wheel for LFO rates, so you can. So check that out. Uh, a few other things that are really cool. Anyway, you get the idea. There's a lot of new patches to go along with what was there. Came out really nice. So uh, let's go from there to the effect stuff because this is where it really gets interesting. When you think of, of an effect version, by the way, if you go up to an insert on, a, on an instrument right here, and you go down to Native Instruments, it shows Absinthe 5 effects. And you select that. And now... You were calling up, and we go to Epson 5 effects, let's say. So it's putting this on the dubstep bass, right? So whatever I call up here. You have these things. Now the gating stuff is cool because that's using... LFOs or envelopes, but what's really powerful and why Absinthe 5 to me is considered an effects monster is because it truly is using everything that you have available as a synthesizer. All you can you can just change the audio inputs. So it's not just the effects section, this little tiny section right here, it's not just that, it's everything. And it gets sick, truly sick what you can do. Let me show you a couple examples. Um, one of the most extreme and oh my goodness examples, I came across this. Um, let me bypass the effect so you hear what we have to work with. It's white noise. In fact, let me turn it down because it's going to be kind of noisy. Oh, it's got the whole song going. So if we go like that and... By turning on Absinthe and it's using a comb filter with high resonance square filter before it to push the signal up that's coming into it um, we get this here's your pitch you say lock type in type out So from this to this, then you go to the effect page or to the slider page and you've got the ability to remix it, break it down. So it's using everything on input, which is just awesome so you can go through the patches let's see we're over here with the uh, es1 uh bypass it's like play this and let's turn off solo so that we just a raw big synth sound right so let's go through some of these effects uh, so like i showed you the gated stuff And 
These are fully sussed out so you can go to the filter. If you go to the, I think this is using an LFO to do this. And we're using envelopes. So you go to the envelope page and you can edit. You can change it to be what you want and. And start playing with it. So you can edit very easily with these guys. That's part of the idea. But what's cool is when you get to the BPM, these are the names of the BPM synth patches because you can call up. Uh, you've got Pulsation Nirvana for the... You've got, uh, if I go over here, I have a drum kit set up. So let's see, hit this to solo, hit this to solo. Here's drums. And I want to go to this and s copy this because I'm going to call this back up in a bit. So you can go over here to the browser. So even though it says Magical Cloud and you're supposed to put a synth pad through it, it's kind of cool to put the drums through it, right? So let's go back to paste. But I have some stuff that I optimized just for drums, so make sure you check those out. Okay, so finally, I want to show you one more thing, and that is how to take something and watch this. We're going to take this ES1 Bright Synth Patch. All I did was the factory ES1 patch, and I just set the filter up really bright. And I brought the sustain level down just a little bit. But any any audio source, recordings or a synth part like this, can be ran into Absinthe 5. So you can do... You can do this to anything. And it's very powerful. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the synth patches that are designed to be played as a synthesizer. And when you first call them up, let's go to like um, one of the BPMs like this. When you first call it up, of course, you don't hear anything. So I'm going to show you what you have to do to make it work. Because every single patch in Absinthe can be used as an effect monster. And what you do is this. You go performance, audio trigger. There's two choices. Always on means it's always on. It's going to start playing right away. You can choose what note you want. It's a kind of a cool trick if you ever need to have a drone just in the background. Here's how you do it. If you say audio like this, now it's got a trigger. So it's got to have a signal. Once it gets a signal, it goes on. And once the signal's gone, it goes away. So like for the noise, when you're feeding noise in for the top option, um, that's set to audio. But something for like a drum, for the insert effects, you set it to always on. Then after doing that, you go to the patch, and all you do is you change each oscillator to be audio in. Audio in. There you go. And boom, now. My input is really nice and loud. My output's not that loud, so I can go to performance bring your output out here and all the sliders that were made for the synth part Relapse. Just 
you can now apply any audio source or any other virtual instrument synthesizer can now go through Absinthe 5's effects, filters, modulation sources, the cloud, all that stuff is available. The Wave Shaper. The Wave Shaper by itself is just put it on and use the Wave Shaper to do some really cool slight distortion and so forth. So there you go. That's that's what's really awesome. Now, none of these patches exist in the demo bank. I'm, I'm saving them only for the Absinthe 5 power pack. So you have to buy the power pack to get these patches. But as I've shown you, you can use any of the patches that are in the factory library. And just by going to the performance page, setting audio to always on, going to the patch page and changing the input for the waveform or synthesis mode to audio in, you now have access to everything in your system going into Absinthe 5 and calling up all the different patches and seeing what happens. You'll get some really cool surprises out of it. So there you go. All right. So uh, Omnisphere is next. And I got a cookie coming up very soon, probably next in the next week or so, on Razer to give you guys an introduction of Razer. There's a couple other things I'm going to do just quickie introductions to. So thank you for watching and thank you for your support. And see you later.